Hey viewers, today I'm going to show you how to install and adjust a front derailleur. Uh, this one here is broken, so I'm going to start off by removing it. I'm going to go ahead and cut this shift cable here because I'm going to be installing a new one while I'm at it. And then unscrew the derailleur here from the mount. This has got like a braze on little adapter mount here, so I don't need to re remove the whole clamp here. Just like this. Now I need to remove the derailleur from the chain because the chain goes right through the cage there. Now I can either break the chain and just pull the chain right out of the derailleur, uh, but I really don't like breaking the chain if I don't have to. Also, this chain doesn't have a master link, so if I broke the chain, I'd have to get it, replace it with a master link. And, or, what I could do is just open up the cage there. There's a screw on this one here. Most uh, derailleurs, most good derailleurs have a, like a little screw here. So if I just remove this little screw right here, like this, then I just kind of open up the cage there and slide it, the, the cage the, right over the chain like that, and so I have it off like that. And now I have the derailleur that I'm going to install in its place. It's a Shimano 105 uh, triple, and so again, to get the uh, chain going through the cage here, I'll just remove this screw right here, and then slide the cage over the chain like this and then reinstall this screw to close the cage again just like that now a lot of modern bikes uh, will have a uh, little little clamp uh, little uh, mount here brazed onto the frame this one here had a little adapter clamp where you can mount a derailleur onto uh, or some will have nothing there and you go ahead and get a derailleur with a clamp on it but this one since I already had the adapter clamp on here from the previous derailleur I got a derailleur that installs on that type of uh, little braze on mount so what I'll do here is remove this little screw here like this and it's going to fit right in there like this now this has got like a little um concave washer here but i'm not going to need this on this one because it's flat right there so i'll just go ahead and remove and use that screw there and i'm just going to put this into here and tighten this down a little bit i don't need to have it super tight at this point because i'm going to need to adjust this uh, derailleur here now this mount here will allow me to adjust the derailleur a little bit this way or that way. It'll allow me to slide it up or down a little bit and allow me to uh, pivot the uh, thing, uh, ang the angle of the derailleur a little bit too. So what I want to do is I want to adjust it in such a way as that when I swivel the cage out, the cage is going to miss these teeth by just a couple millimeters. And then I want to have this outside part of this cage parallel to the chain ring. So what I'm going to do is kind of just get this here. The height looks pretty good there. It's just barely, you know, it's about two millimeters uh, away from the, the teeth there. So now I just need to adjust the angle of the cage there and just kind of pivot a little bit and then tighten this down. And then after you tighten it down, double check it, make sure everything looks good. If it's not quite right, then go ahead, loosen up and adjust it again. So here's a nice close up there. You can see the uh, cage just passing over a couple millimeters over the teeth there. And here's a shot looking down and you can see the, uh, the cage there. It's parallel to that uh, big chain ring right there when it goes out. Now shift the rear derailleur to the big cog. So now I want to adjust the limiting screw, the low limiting screw. Sometimes they're labeled L and H, or sometimes they're not. Um, I don't see any markings on this one, but on this one, it's this one closest in. And what I want to do is I want to tighten it down until the cage just comes up and touches the chain. Like that. So it's just barely touching the chain there. Now I'm ready to replace the shift cable, and that's going to vary depending on what kind of shifters you have. On these particular shifters here, I'm just going to press a small little lever uh, until it shifts all the way down, and then I can push the cable out through here. So just pull the old cable out, and then just insert the uh, new cable into where the old cable came out, and run it all the way through until the uh, little uh, head part of the cable is fully seated in there. Like that. 
Then I can run it down in through the cable housing. Like that. Now depending on what kind of uh, bike it is, uh, if you have like a road bike with brifters, often there'll be a barrel adjuster on the down tube here. If you have a mountain bike, a lot of times the barrel adjuster is right on the shifter itself. Go ahead and tighten the barrel adjuster all the way in and then turn it out about one full turn and just leave it like that. And then again, cable routing varies. On this particular bike, uh, the cable goes uh, through a little guide on the uh, bottom bracket here and then goes up underneath like that. Now this part can be a little tricky as far as how the cable goes through this little clamp screw here. On this particular one, it goes over this little uh, nub in the back there and then it, there's like a little slot in there. A lot of times if you look at the uh, in there underneath the screw, there's like a little slot that the cable kind of fits through. And so that's what I'm doing on this one. Um, if you have any doubts, go online, do a search on the particular derailleur and look at the instructions to see how they show the cable going through here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this cable taut in here and then tighten down this little clamp screw here to clamp this cable into place. Like that. Now where before I tightened the limiting screw so the cage just came up and touched the chain, now with the cable attached, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen that limiting screw just a little bit so that the, the cage moves about a millimeter or two away from the chain down there. Now I want to get this excess cable out of the way, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it off, leaving about uh, an inch and a half there, clean up the end there, and then throw a uh, little crimp on uh, thing on here to keep it from fraying, and just go ahead and crimp this down there. And then I want to kind of get this uh, cable out of the way, so I'm just going to kind of bend it up here, because I don't want to have it coming up and hitting the uh, crank arms as it goes by. So now I'm ready to test the shifting. Now if this was a double, doubles are pretty easy because it's either this way or that way. So there's only two positions to be in. But if it's with a triple, there's three positions and the indexing is a little trickier. So what I like to do is go ahead and shift the rear derailleur into a uh, middle cog and then shift the uh, front derailleur into the middle ring. The uh, chain should be somewhat centered in the middle of the cage but in this case it's slightly off center. So remember that barrel adjuster that I adjusted uh, like all the way in and then out like one turn? Well I want to move the cage back this way just a little bit to center the chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that barrel adjuster back in a little bit. So I turn it in that full turn. Now the chain looks like it's pretty well centered in between the cage there. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, test the uh, shifting. So I'm still in the middle cog on the back, but I'll go ahead and test the uh, front shifter here. High, middle, low, middle, a little bit, uh, middle, low, middle, and so I'm going to go ahead and just turn this barrel adjuster out just a slight one click. So that's working pretty good. So now I'm going to test the uh, the rear cog on the, uh, the rear derailleur on the biggest cog and try it again. And it's rubbing just a little bit, but again I'm cross chaining from the big to the big, which is a combination I generally don't want to be in in real life anyway. So it's rubbing a little bit on that, but I'm not that concerned about it. So now I'm going to go ahead and shift it down to the small cog on the back and test the shifting here. And again, it's rubbing here from the small, small combination. I'm cross chaining again, so it's rubbing on the inside of the cage there. Again, this is a combination that I shouldn't really want to be in when I'm actually out riding. And it's shifting pretty well. Uh, there might be a little bit more uh, fine tuning uh, with the barrel just a little bit and this uh, limiting screw seems to be pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and kick it up to this uh, big ring here 
and just turn it in maybe just a little bit I don't want to have it touching the chain there but go ahead and test it I want to have the uh, limiting screw tightened down about as much as I can have it tightened and still have it be shifting up to that big ring there but everything looks pretty good right now and done the derailleur is mounted uh, I still need to get out for a uh, test ride and so that might involve very tiny little tweaks of the uh, barrel adjuster or the limiting screws also as I ride around a little bit the uh, cable will kind of uh, get seated in a little bit better and so I may have to tweak the uh, barrel adjuster a little bit for that but anyway, that is how to mount a front derailleur. Anyway, I hope you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified of new videos as they come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, go RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page. I have stuff over there as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.